Hello there. My name is Jeff Shaw and welcome to JNWN. In JNWN, we share news from all around the world. What kind of news? Business, financial, and economic news. This episode, we're going to be discussing simple interest and compound interest. What are they? Let's start with simple interest, commonly known as interest. What is interest? Let's just say that you open a bank account at XYZ Bank and deposit $100 in your account. XYZ Bank will give you a certain amount of money in order for you to keep your money with them. That certain amount of money is decided based on how much money you deposit, or in other terms, a percentage of the amount of money you deposited. Let's just say that XYZ Bank offers an interest rate of 2% every year. That means that after one year, XYZ Bank will give you 2% of the money that you have deposited in their bank, or $2 in your case. This will happen every year. If the amount of money in your bank remains $100, if you decide to deposit another $900, you will get $20 from the bank at the end of the year because you would have a total of $1,000 with XYZ Bank, $100 from before and $900 from a new deposit. Why do banks pay you interest rates so that they can keep your money safe? Well, they take the money that you have deposited with them and they use that to give the loans that they then deposit that money along with interest back into your account. Banks are able to pay their interest because people take out the loans and then pay them back. And they also have to pay interest to the bank along with the loans that they take out. And usually banks charge highest interest rates on loans than they do for deposits. And that's one of the ways banks make money. Now that we've discussed simple interest, let's discuss compound interest. Compound interest is basically interest on interest. Sound confusing? Let me elaborate. Let's just say that you deposit $100 at ABC Bank. The ABC Bank, like XYZ Bank, will give you 2% extra of what you've deposited in your account. Except ABC Bank will give it to you as compound interest. What's the difference? If you had your $100 at XYZ Bank for two years and you didn't deposit or withdraw any money, you would have $104 at the end of the two years because each year you got $2 from interest. After all, 2% of $100 is $2, that's simple interest. But if you had $100 at ABC Bank and you didn't deposit or withdraw any money for two years, you would have $104.04. Why do you have four cents extra? Because of compound interest. At XYZ Bank for the second year, if you don't earn any interest on the $2 that was deposited into your account last year, they only pay interest on the $100 the amount of money you deposited originally. At ABC Bank, however, because they have compound interest, there is interest in the $2 that deposited into your account last year. 2% of $2 is $0.04. Compound interest adds up very fast over the years past. If you left $100 for 10 years in both the banks, at the end of 10 years, your account at XYZ Bank would have $120 Further, so your account at ABC Bank would have $121.9. That is, you would have earned 10% more interest income at ABC Bank. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Please press the subscribe button, the like button, and please turn on the notification bell. That's the economic concept of simple interest and compound interest. I'm Janem Shah, and this is JNWN.